the base station. Basically, the base station doing everything, and the switching, the handover, all are done. That's why in LT you can have but uh, reduce latency, right? You, 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 you because it simplifies the number of nodes, uh, the nodes will reduce. And uh, then we can see that what are the interfaces in between those blocks? Because they should be the interface huh? within the core network itself and also within going outside the core network. Because LTE, core, uh, EPC, they have to be linked to the 2G and 3G. Because most of the earlier stage of introduction in LTE, they are uh, what you call uh, the call the, the call go through uh, LTE will be called back to the 2G or 3G uh, for voice call but later will go to the 3G but later on then they have the IMS within the core network of uh, LTE then they use wave V over IP and then they call voice over LTE vocal V O L T E okay voice over LTE they go through IMS and the MS can be connected direct to the ASTM or DOMA. At the beginning, they have to fall back to the circuit switch of the and TV. And we also will be using the, also what are the interfaces to this 3G, 4G currently. And then also, might be, uh, beside this one, we also see what are the interfaces to other non 3 dbp network because LTE should be able to support for the Wi-Fi as well. That's why they will be looking into the offloading. Okay, when you move to the into the city, in the building, then can be offload to the what you call the Wi-Fi, right? Because they will reduce the burden of the LTE if you can offload to that and those. But when you move out, there is no then you can okay move back to the LTE as well. Those features are available right? in the, the LTE. Okay. Here you see in one cell, in a given cellular level, as you see yesterday, in one cell, they have, they have coverage. Okay. Within the coverage, we have base station. Remember, every base station, they should have a control channel and also a boss channel. Control channel is just like a broadcast channel. Always on. When you switch on your phone, you can see that your phone will be locked to one of the control channel which is nearest to your uh, base station that where you are blocking. Everybody here will log to the same control channel. That's what they call broadcast channel. Okay. That means you only need one channel for that. Watch channel, different. Because as you see yesterday, if you have MDMA, you will access through frequency. If you have EDMA, you have frequency and time slot. You go to CDMA, you can have bigger share the channel but different code uh, and code. so we got and then all FDMA is similar to FDMA but you have resource block so it's more flexible so those are available resources there but anyway every channel uh, every base station need to have broadcast channel okay, where everybody will lock the same channel <coughs> And then I think just to re uh, reflect back yesterday, you can see the coverage here will be depending on the, even the frequency as mentioned, LTE have multiple band. Higher frequency, the coverage may be smaller. Because you have more loss. Huh? That's why you need more base station. Lower frequency, below 1 giga, 700, you can have bigger coverage. Okay, that's why uh, the low frequency at the beginning is very important because it can support less infrastructure cost uh, because it can cover more. But as you go along, uh, more LTE will become a smaller coverage. If you have small coverage, means the user is very close to the base station, then you can have a very good signal to loss ratio. Okay, that's why one of the advantage in the LTE they have macro cell, they have micro cell. They have Pico cell and then even Phantom cell. Phantom cell is similar like your access point. And if you want to connect the Phantom cell, because this is all IP based, you don't you need to have a IP connection only. 
So for example, you have a normal uh, LTE in one area, but you want to have a uh, phantom cell installed in a remote area, but if you have a very good internet condition, you can have that. But they have go through the IP. Those are the differences, uh, that the, the very advantages that they have for the, this uh, core network or backhaul that require. Backhaul means it has to be connected. In cellular system, first generation, uh, second generation, third generation, they are using more, mainly they are using microwave. You see in the base station there, there will be a separate antenna, and then on top of that, there is a microwave link. So those microwave links are the backhaul. But in LTE, you need to have IP base. You don't you need to have E1 or T1. Okay, so those are the differences. Okay, then uh, this is, you see, in the first 